Welcome back to the Hollywood News Channel, where we update you with the latest news of the day. Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Donald Trump Jr.'s girlfriend, Kimberly Galefoyle, is currently working for President Trump's re election campaign as his senior advisor. Trump campaign manager Brad Pascal shared the news in a statement in late April 2019, which announced that the campaign is assembling a world class team of talented individuals to help re elect Trump. These exceptional additions to the re election effort will help us take our case to the voters and ensure victory, it read. Most recently, Gail Foyle had served as a vice chairwoman of the pro-Trump super PAC, America First Action. Before that, she was a Fox News personality. Here's what you should know about her. She was born in San Francisco on March 9, 1969. Her mother, a special education teacher named Mercedes, died of leukemia when Gail Foyle was 11. After that, her father, Tony, an Irish immigrant, raised her as a single parent. After graduating from the University of California, Davis and attending law school at the University of San Francisco, she worked as a prosecutor. Gail Foyle, who reportedly first registered as a Republican in college and modeled for Macy's and Victoria's Secret while she was in law school, also spent four years in Los Angeles as a deputy district attorney and was named Prosecutor of the Month. She moved back to San Francisco in 2000 when she joined the San Francisco District Attorney's Office. In 2001, she married Gavin Newsom, who was then a San Francisco City Supervisor. Now that Gail Foyle is enmeshed in the Trump orbit, observers often point out in the past she has been romantically linked with liberals too. Newsom, her first husband, would eventually become a Democratic Governor of California. She began her television career in 2004. Career Court taped her to a host both sides that year and in 2006, she joined Fox News as host of the weekend show The Lineup. Until the summer of 2018, she co-hosted Fox's afternoon show, The Five. Newsom went on to be elected mayor in 2003, making Gail Foyle the first lady of San Francisco. The couple is pictured here with Prince Charles and the Young Museum, in 2005. They separated in January of that year, citing the strain of having careers and on opposite coasts and were officially divorced in March 2006. Gail Foyle married Eric Valenci in Barbados on May 27, 2006. At the time of their wedding, Valenci was the president and CEO of his family's furniture chain and the host of a weekly design show on the Fine Living Network. The couple's son, Ronan Anthony, was born on October 4, 2006. Gail Foyle and Valencia divorced three years later. She published Making the Case, How to Be Your Own Best Advocate in 2015. The book covers Gail Foyle's experience as a prosecutor and offers tips on how to organize your thoughts and plans, having meaningful discussions with the people around you, and achieve your goals in all aspects of your life. Gail Foyle and Trump have known each other for at least a decade. Here, the rumored couple is pictured with Dawn Jr.'s new now ex-wife Vanessa, Tammy Peters Thomas and Rich Thomas in November 2007. She was reportedly considered for the job of White House Press Secretary. Gail Foyle pictured here at the White House Correspondents Association dinner in 2014 was spotted meeting with the Trump transition team at Trump Tower in December 2016. She was linked to former White House Communications Director Anthony Smaramucci, Scaramucci. After the Mucci's wife, Deidre De De Ball, filed for divorce in July 2017, the Post reported that he was wooing Gail Foyle last fall. Scaramucci and Gail Foyle, however, rep repeatedly denied they were a couple, even amid reports of them house hunting together in Manhattan and of a romantic trip to Rome last month, when they were photographed cuddling up at a charity gala. Scaramucci and his wife later reconciled and purchased a house in the Hamptons in January of this year. She and Trump Jr. reportedly began dating in April of 2018. The couple attended the White House 4th of July party a week after they went to Montana for a weekend of fishing. Soon after, she left Fox News under disputed circumstances.
In July 2018, Gayfall announced that she was leaving Fox News, while HuffPost reported that she was forced out following allegations of sexual misconduct. A conflicting Daily Beast article claimed that the allegations were a part of a whisper campaign to discredit Gail Foyle. After Fox News' career ended, Gail Foyle soon became vice chairwoman of pro-Trump's PAC America First policies. In the fall, she hit the campaign trail for midterm elections with Trump Jr. In late September, the couple went on the road to Minnesota, North Dakota, Montana, Nevada and Texas, appearing at rallies and fundraisers in support of Republican candidates. They caused a small stir on September 19 when the Mutton Tavern in Bozeman, Montana, the venue where they were hosting an event for Republican Matt Rosendale, cancelled after the discovering that the event was a political rally. We definitely don't want to take political sides. That's never our intention, the restaurant's manager Jess Wilcox told the Bozeman Daily Chronicle. We just try to stay politically neutral. In April 2019, Gail Foyle joined the Trump re-election campaign in an official capacity. After accompanying her boyfriend Don Jr. to, my, to myriad fundraisers, rallies and, and the like for months, Gail Foyle was named a senior advisor on Trump's 2020 campaign. I am absolutely thrilled to announce that I'll be joining the Trump campaign as a senior advisor, she tweeted. It's time to get to work and win for America in 2020. The couple have, have pet names for one another. While on the campaign trail with Donald Jr., Gail Fall jokingly said in reference to her boyfriend that Dawn Jr., I call him Jr. Mintz. According to page 6, Trump Jr. calls her by the, po by, by the pet name Pooh Bear. Gail Fall has also referred to herself and Trump Jr. on stage as Donna Belly, a portmanteau of their names. That is it for today's news, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Thank you for watching The Hollywood News. Don't forget to like and share the updates to the latest information of the day.